Hi, this is your host Sabdeen Bharatiya and welcome to our series on predictions for 2022. And today we have with us once again, Dennis Zimmer, CTO and co-founder of Code Notary. Dennis, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Sabdeen. Uh, pleasure to be here and uh, uh, thanks for having me. Before I ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions, tell us quickly, what is the company all about? So Code Notary is all about data immutability, data protection, and ultimately data trust. Uh, so we make sure that data can be stored in a trusted way, in a client verifiable way. And uh, we use this technology not just uh, to provide it to the community as an open source platform, but also to protect all the supply, software supply chain uh, from protecting artifacts, the evidence around artifacts, uh, to the whole software build process. Uh, including everything that happens from the source code uh, to the running binary. Excellent. Uh, now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell us what prediction do you have? I mean, there's one simple prediction when it comes to software supply chain, and that is there will be much more software supply chain attacks. Uh, so I think we just got it started and we are going to see uh, much more sophisticated attacks. We still will see a lot of news uh, that are still part of the attacks that already happened. Um, I mean, SolarWinds is uh, probably the most prominent example, but it's also far from being over. Uh, so there are so many companies uh, that were affected. So I, I assume uh, that uh, next year we will learn a lot more about the damage. We will learn a lot more about uh, what else happened in this whole space. Um, but when, uh, when there is something bad, there's always something co uh, good coming with it. So I will also predict that we will see much more technology that can be used to protect against future supply chain attacks, um, but that will automatically result in a much better transparency and visibility for customers. So customers ultimately will see what is really part of closed source, open source, any kind of product that I'm running in my data center or running on uh, my system. And uh, actually there's a third prediction if you want to have transparency, if you want to have a clear overview, no matter if you own software or uh, you just use software, there needs to be standards. So there will be much more work uh, that is putting, put in into standards like SPDX, Cyclone DX, so where software bill of materials become uh, not just, uh, I would say, a, a nice thing to have, they become essential when it comes also to uh, not just shipping your products, shipping your patches and your software, but also shipping what is part of it. So the ingredients list, including all the different, um, the, all the different versions, for example. And not to forget, a lot of these things are currently more, um, I would say, dead packages. <laughs> so they are not alive. So a lot of the technologies that are currently being used, they scan uh, packages before they are being deployed or a container before they are being deployed. And um, we are going to see much more that is part of the runtime. So really uh, checking if uh, during runtime additional packages are being loaded, uh, additional dependencies are being loaded, because that is ultimately the biggest threat. So you actually are sure that you are deploying a software, uh, you did everything you could, vulnerability scanning, compliance scanning, uh, a ton of people looked into it and over it, and then suddenly the system starts and it just loads a malicious uh, dependency while starting and it's just there in your environment. And then when it comes to, I would say, a global effort to um, protect attacks and to get rid of, I would say, these easy and simple kind of attacks, um, we already saw from Joe Biden the uh, presidential executive order for cybersecurity that is going to drive a whole wave of changes. Um, and this wave will not uh, stop in the US, this wave will actually be global. Um, and I'm absolutely sure that, uh, and I already see it from uh, Switzerland, Germany, um, Australia, uh, that companies are already asking for more insights into software, but they also ask for much more protection against potential supply chain attacks or everything that could threat uh, your runtime and your, um, yeah, your, your whole data center or the data center as a whole. Dennis, uh, thanks for sharing these uh, predictions. If I ask you, what is going to be the focus of the company in 2022? So of course, we want to continue um, with EMDB, that is our open source 
uh, database that can be used to protect any kind of data um, by just storing it uh, tamper-proof and client verifiable. Uh, so we are convinced that this goes far beyond uh, the software delivery. But from a, a commercial uh, perspective, our products are more and more focused on the software bill of materials and on storing evidence through your whole software delivery lifecycle. And one of the Im most important things we currently focus on is being compliant with all these upcoming um, standards. So Cyclone DX, SPDX, but also um, to track and record the dependencies, the bill of materials, and the state of every single component in your software lifecycle at any given point in time. So starting with a source code uh, to your build process, but also watching consistently your runtime uh, to be able to even detect and uh, allow you to disable or remove your com uh, components that are malicious or compromised immediately from your uh, current life cycle or from your current software. Excellent. Dennis, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course share these predictions. And I would love to have you back on the show next year, not only to check how many of those predictions turn out to be true, but also to get a set of predictions for 2023. But thanks for your time today. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. <laughs>